when you have an issue with one of your Merklin passenger cars, it could be that there's just a loose connection on the inside. In this example, you can see the interior lights work on one side of the car, but they do not work on the other side of the car. So let's open it up and see what's going on. Many of the Merklin cars open by taking off the end pieces, the bellows, and you can just do that with your fingernails, they'll pop right off. Do it on both sides. And after that, you need to try to spread out the sides of the car, and then the frame, the bottom portion will come loose. The easiest way to do this, I found, is to take a couple of business cards or thick paper and push it between the sides of the car, like you see here in the video. Obviously, you have to do it on both sides. And then you can try to pull out in the bottom frame. And there it is. The green strip is the LED lighting in the car, and you can already see what happened here got disconnected. And this card consists of three pieces and you see that connector is still intact the way it should be. But the third piece is loose. So it becomes a simple matter of sliding that piece back into the other circuit board, like so. And that should take care of the problem. With the shell off, this is also a good time to add some passengers to the train. And we sell seated passengers by Pricer, Faller, and Nog. It becomes time to put the shell back on. The only thing you have to watch for is that you don't have to shell on backwards. In this case, look at the windows and where the lights are, and so we know we got this correct. And then with the light click, it should click right back into place. Once you got the car back together, you can put the end pieces, the bellows back on. It's kind of clumsy in front of the camera, but it just clips right back in and do the other side. And you should be all set. And when we test our lights, you can see now all the lights in the car light up. With such a detailed interior, it would look much better, in my opinion, if you added some passengers. And then you can even see the walk up bar. It would be cool if some people were standing there too. So, on your car, if only a portion of the lights work, it most likely is a disconnected circuit board. If none of the lights work, it could be that one of the wires came loose inside the car. And so I would trace the wires back to the pickup shoe and to the current conducting coupler and make sure that they are connected. If the lights in this car work, but you couple a car to this car and those lights do not come on, then it could be the current conducting coupler inside your car. Do a simple test, connect yet another car to this car. If those lights do not come on either, then it's this car that has the problem with the current conducting coupler. If the lights do come on in that second car that you tried, then the problem is with the current conducting coupler of the other car that you used to test. The wire to that current conducting coupler will most likely be loose. If you have a digital car, for example, with sound effects and it's completely dead, you can open it up and check and make sure that the decoder that is mounted to the circuit board is still connected. With this video, I tried to show you how easy it is to open up a Merklin car and add your passengers or resolve an issue that you may have. 